In this episode we are going to be learning about module called Path Auto. This is going to be a short episode and I'm just going to show you one example how you can use Path Auto module. And Path Auto is used to create pretty URLs for your site. So actually Drupal calls it aliases. So you can create aliases for your content and then access that com content via those URLs. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this episode. Before we get to the solution, let's first check out the problem. So if I click on movies right now, you will see that we go to a URL dataming.dev slash movies. And that's okay. Uh, this URL is already pretty URL because this is a view. And when you create a view, you create a URL for it. And this one has a URL of movies and this is all fine. But if we go down here and click view movie for inception, we get to a kind of a different URL and this one is called node slash nine, which is not a pretty URL. So it would be good if that URL was something like movies slash inception. Okay, so this is our problem. Now we are going to learn how we can deal with that problem and create a solution for it. Solution for our problem comes in the form of path auto module. So you can find it on uh, official Drupal's modules page and it's right here somewhere. So this is path auto module and if you click on it you will see that the module requires token module and C tools module. So of course uh, you can go ahead if you want and copy out this uh, link address and then go to extend and then install new module and paste that address in and then you would install that module and also you would have to do that for token and you would have to do that for C tools or chaos tool suit. But of course since we are cool we are not going to be doing that that way but we are going to be doing that the way we did it in the previous video. Of course if you don't want to do it by drush you don't have to but I'm going to do it uh, via Drush. So in my DA theming folder, I'm just going to go ahead and write Drush DL and the modules we need. So we need Path Auto, Path Auto. Uh, we also need Token module. So we just do a space between that and do Token. And then we need C tools and that's it. Press enter and all of this will download download to our system and then we can enable it. Okay now that they are downloaded uh, we just enable them by very similar command instead of DL we are just going to do EN and also I'm going to enable uh, admin toolbar module which we disabled in the previous episode. Okay. And now it asks me do I want to enable the following extensions? I just say yes. Our modules are now enabled, so I can go to my site and uh, I can just actually refresh this page. And now uh, I have admin toolbar enabled and if I want to go to uh, URL aliases I can go to search and metadata and click on URL aliases. Of course if you don't have admin toolbar you can just go to configuration and then you would just go down here search and metadata and click on URL aliases. And as you can already see we already have some aliases but the things that we are going to be doing in this tutorial is these patterns which you wouldn't have if you don't have path auto installed and this bulk generate. 
So I'm just going to show you one example how you can use Path Auto. So first of all we go to Patterns and you can add a new Path Auto pattern right here. So click on that and now it uh, asks us to select a pattern type. type. So it can be taxonomy, term, content or user. We are going to choose content and then it's going to ask you well uh, what type of content do you wanna uh, create a pattern for? So you can create it for actors as we have uh, that custom post type or type as it's called in Drupal. Uh, we can add it for articles, movies or basic pages. So let's add it for movies. So I'm just going to click on this and then you define how that pattern of URLs is going to look like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to write movies and now you have a list of available tokens. So that's where this token plugin uh, actually module comes in. So if you click on browse available tokens you can see the tokens that you can use in your URL. So you have available tokens for current user so you can use that if for some weird reason you want to do that. You have tokens for dates so if you want to structure your URLs by date uh, then you have nodes and this is the one that we need so as you can see right here you have the title of the node so you would just click that and it would add it to uh, this input field right here okay and then you just do label and the label is going to be movies okay and save now if I copy out this address or just do this actually and go to my site and then we would go to movies so actually we are currently on node 9 so let's go to movies again and uh, if we check out view movie down here you can see a URL so it still says node slash 9 and even if we click on that movie we would go to a movie node slash 9 so this actually did work but before it uh, these URLs propagate throughout the site we have to regenerate them so to do that you would do bulk generate and then you would update the URLs for content or if you did it for taxonomy terms or users then you would uh, also select them but we want to just uh, regenerate our URLs for the content so you, you just do update okay and as you can see generated 11 URL aliases now if we go back and refresh this page as you can see down here the URL is currently movies inception so click on that and now we no longer going to the node slash 9 but we are going to the movies slash inception so this is much prettier structure of URLs than we had before before we finish up this video there is just one more thing I want to show you so this happened to me on several sites and if this bulk generate doesn't work for you so your link stays the same or your URL stays the same then you can go to content this was a problem on Drupal 7 I think on Drupal 8 it seems to work fine but on Drupal 7 I usually had problems with this so if that happens to you and your URLs do not change then you can go to your content just select everything and then you would have this update URL alias so to update for every piece of content on your site so try to do that if this doesn't work for you okay so I hope you get the idea how path auto works and how you can generate your pretty URLs for your site 
this is it for this video thank you for watching please follow me on twitter or on facebook if you like the video please like it like the channel if you like the channel and that's about it i'll see you in the next one